Hey guys, Stephanie here. Hit that like, subscribe, and share. All right, well, damn, what a week this is uh, turning out to be, right? Before I touch on, well, the obvious things that are going on around here, look, the social distancing thing, you know, designer mask and all, I mean, the whole trendy thing of the social distancing is going a little too extreme. Don't be the stupid person that goes to Burger King and gets the huge crown sombrero to make sure that you're social distancing properly. You know, like the people wearing the rubber tires at the bar or restaurant. You look stupid. You look extremely stupid. People, stop entertaining this crap. Like Kumo just tweeted, Today, I am signing an executive order authorizing businesses to deny entry to those not wearing face mask coverings. Well, okay, look, dude, th look, th like, it, everybody already knows. The CDC and like everybody else has contradicted themselves and the numbers have been false. Like, why are y'all still playing this game? Like, stop it already. You're being stupid. You look stupid. You're morons. And your cities are decaying. These democratic cities that they run are literally decaying. I say, Kumo, today the American people are signing an executive order to get rid of all you evil, freaking, like, anti-American you know, anti-good economy, you want everybody on like, you know, basic, you know, income, just keep giving everybody a stimulus check while the economy goes crazy. These people, I mean, and he's not even taking responsibility for the, all the elderly people either. Like, seriously, dude, shut up. We, the people, should start signing executive orders to get these people out of here because they're destroying our country. This, this country has lost its damn mind. In what world is it okay to have someone beg to breathe. And it's like, I don't know, y'all, like it really bothered me. I couldn't even watch the full video because it's like, you're, we literally saw his life leave his body before his body left the scene. I mean, he literally just died right there. I like it, like it, it makes me so upset. Because it's like, if I were there, I don't care if it's a cops or not. There's no way in hell I could just watch someone die. Like, oh my gosh, I had to leave the room when my kids had to get their shots, like when they were born. Because hearing my kids cry or just seeing someone else in pain like that, it's like, I'm very empathic. So to me, it's like, ah, that's a human life. And now you got people, you know, on the news last night, it wasn't on the news. You know, you got... Um, even more race hatred. You have um, people literally, it's not protesting. I don't know why, you know, it's not even really on the news. And then they're saying protest. No, it's looting, it's rioting, it's pure insanity. Like in California, they had the National Guard, you know, come in. This is, this is out of control. Things that are going on are out of control. And people in the mainstream, like even on Google, if you put you know, up-to-date news feed, it's all coronavirus, coronavirus, corona nothing about the the riots, nothing, nothing. Even last night, like I told my daughter, I was like, oh my God, put, you know, this on. I was like, why isn't any of this stuff on the news? Like the stuff that's really going on around us, it's, it's not, it's not there. And now you got Trump going after um, Twitter about damn time, dude, because I'm so sick of getting shadow banned. You know, you got Nancy Pelosi getting sued. Oh, she like passes her own bills, which is unconstitutional. She's just doing her own thing. Like she's the president. Like she is in control. It's like, we need to like calm down, take a break. Is there any way we, the people could be like, hey, y'all have lost your damn minds. We're going to like, we're taking our, our freedom and our sanity back. Because like this is a perfect example of like with these riots and all that, these people have created the perfect storm and that's what they wanted. They want chaos. They want people to fight. They want things to go crazy so they can come in and take more of our rights to protect us. It's the perfect storm. You put people on lockdown, all right? They are scared. They've been stuck in their houses, cabin fever. Majority of them are broke, hungry. I mean confused and angry and then something like this happens and it's like this is what happens when you have bad people not being honest with the people the truth is always going to come out 
And people can only take so much until they're pushed to the point. And these people are not normal. They're narcissistic sociopaths. They don't care what happens to us. So we have to start caring about ourselves because rioting and looting and like doing all this. Oh my God, dude. Even all the videos I see with people just like attacking each other and the amount of hate on Twitter for white people. And I'm just like, damn, dude, don't blanket statement all white people because that's even more messed up. You know what I mean? Not all white people are bad. Just like the not any of all race is bad. And I'm so pissed that this is where we're at because this is exactly what the establishment wanted. Because they can come in, we're already on like medical martial law pretty much. And with these riots and the more out of control we get, the more control they'll take. Thank you for listening. Hit that like, subscribe, and share. Bye.